give my mom a birthday cake. Since my birthday's before my mom's, I always let her choose my birthday cake. I really don't mind what I get, and she likes to try a new flavor every year. In return, for her birthday, she lets me bake her cake. She usually has a request that I try to fulfill, and this year it was a cheesecake. I usually try to surprise her with the design, and this year I saw a design on YouTube, I think by the YouTuber Patrice Choro, um, where she made a koi pond mousse cake, and I decided to try and recreate that with the cheesecake. I didn't have white bean paste like she used in the video, so I decided to make the fish and rocks out of dongo. I think it turned out pretty well for what I had on hand, and my mom really liked it. I almost choked when I read this message. Today we're packing an order for TN and he ordered a custom brownie. After glazing it in chocolate ganache, I had 4 Kit Kats, Tim Tam crumbs, and crushed Oreos. TN said he wanted to add gold flakes to make it extra special for his partner, and he wrote this note, which I think is the most romantic message ever. Thanks for ordering, TN. I don't know about you guys, but it has felt like winter for way too long this year, so I wanted to make a beach-inspired mirror glaze cake. This mirror glaze is actually easier to make than you think, and it gives a cake such a stunning look. There's a few important things that you need to know though, like the temperature that you should pour your mirror glaze at, the ingredients that you should use to get that really beautiful shiny look, and how to pour it to really get full coverage on your cake. I'm covering all of this and more in a two hour class on April 28th, so if you're interested and you want to learn how to make a stunning cake like this, check out the link in my bio to sign up. It's going to be a ton of fun, we'll be making the cakes together and you'll be able to ask any questions you have along the way. Can't wait to bake this cake with all of you. Ooh. I made a birthday cake for my dog Dream. It's made out of his favorite foods that are very common for dogs to like, so I'd highly recommend. In a bowl, combine a cup of carrot, a half a cup of honey, a fourth a cup of oil, a tablespoon of baking soda, a fourth a cup of yogurt, five tablespoons of peanut butter, and two cups of flour, and a cup of milk. For the frosting, whip a cup of heavy cream, add a fourth a cup of yogurt, and a tablespoon of peanut butter. Pipe happy birthday on the cake, and add more peanut butter to make it a darker color. It's a little hard to work with, but it was worth it. Enjoy! I'm sure you all know that one chocolate cake in Matilda where the kid Bruce had to eat it all and you were low-key jealous because it looked so good. Well, here's how you can make it at home. Luckily for you guys, it's literally the easiest chocolate cake recipe you'll ever try. You just mix all the dry ingredients, throw in the eggs and melted butter and then pour in some hot coffee. And don't worry, this doesn't leave any coffee taste behind. It just helps bring out the chocolate flavour and take us to the next level. So once you get this runny smooth batter, go ahead and bake it and then while it cools, you can make the ganache. You heat some cream in the microwave, pour it on the chocolate, mix it together and then once it's cooled, you should get this really creamy spreadable ganache. And then you can just spread it between and all over the cake layers and you're done. Just look at how good that looks. I didn't even put my blood, sweat and tears in it, but I still feel like Miss Trunchbull would be proud. At first, I was like, I'm getting ripped tonight. All I be that pussy. Yeah. As a joke. But, bro, I don't think it's a joke anymore. You have to stop trying to lose weight, darling. You are a winner. Winners never lose. We are not meant to be skinny. 
We are meant to be fabulous. <laughs> <laughs>